O alto comissário da ONU para os Direitos Humanos está preocupado com o crescente aumento de populismo e dos movimentos anti-direitos humanos em vários pontos do mundo, incluindo na Europa. De visita às instituições da União Europeia em Bruxelas, Volca Turca disse em entrevista à Euronews que as principais vítimas são os migrantes e refugiados, as mulheres e a comunidade gay. We need to find against bigotry and populism because it's every all of it is ultimately about who we are embracing the human diversity and the richness of who we are accepting who we are no matter who we love and and how we want to engage in our lives i think we need to respect this this was the biggest promise from the universal declaration of human rights and we need to educate all those who who want to push us back into an era that is long gone by I would like to, to ask you if you think that the United Kingdom migration bill that has just been passed somehow to avoid that asylum seekers present their no. demands uh, in the UK territory is a blanket disregard of humanitarian law. Well, it's clear that the UK illegal migration bill is in violation of both international refugee law as well as international human rights law. Article 14 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights talks about the right to seek and to enjoy asylum from persecution. So you have a right to seek and enjoy asylum from persecution. But if that law bars that right, it is a tragedy. What do you think of the recent agreement between the European Union and a country such as Tunisia, which of course also was mentioned by United Nations agencies as a country where human rights violations occur. We need to understand why people are moving. They are moving because of human rights violations in their own countries. Sometimes they end up in horrible situations, in Libya for example, or in Tunisia where they are pushed back or where it's, where it's very difficult for them to survive. I mean, Libya has these horrific detention centers for migrants and asylum seekers. So the big thing and the big ask is, can we not find alternatives to these horribly dangerous routes that migrants and asylum seekers often have to take? Mr. High Commissioner, thank you very much for being here. Okay. Thank you very much.